Hello, and welcome to Scripted Reviews. Today, we are going to discuss our favorite movies from the summer, our favorite performances, and so on and so forth. It yeah. all goes down to history. Yeah. Um, first of all, I have a special thanks to give to the summer of 2014, because this summer blew my mind. Yeah, it was really great. Um, a really great summer. Uh, other than Transformers. Uh, that's not a movie. I don't recommend that movie even to somebody... That you hate? On the, on the, that I hate. I wouldn't even recommend that to Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I would say watch something else, Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> watch more of your Nazi propaganda. <laughs> on that note, going into our favorite <laughs> movies, personally I'd like to start off with uh, X-Men Days of the Future Past. That I knew that going into that movie, I thought that was going to be a mind-blowing movie anyways. But when I saw it, it was so much better than I thought it would be. I was a little disappointed that Wolverine was going back in time other than uh, Kitty Pride, but um, it worked so well. I, know? I thought Wolverine was a good choice just because you kind of need him in the movie because he's such a marketable asset. But yeah, you, that's why they did it, but I'm saying like it's a lot of people don't stay true to the comics anymore, mm -hmm. but it works still. It, it, it really was good. The story was amazing, and all the people that were in it with their powers and everything, instead of developing too much of their characters you only get a certain cast and you don't question you know what I mean you don't question their story oh, yeah and the thing about the movie is that it, it was the story was simple like it wasn't this over complex bombastic thing it was just a simple premise and they got their words out co cohesively and concisely so you can concentrate on the story development it was still really great I mean the Sentinels were awesome They're, it's crazy like uh, you see they go to the past and you see how everything's going on you know mm -hmm. what I mean like how it affects the future so far into the future also um mystique was portrayed perfectly on film I've never seen mystique like so accurately compared to the comic you know in yeah the original you, show she Jennifer Lawrence is just Jennifer Lawrence, yeah you know, uh, she's going to do her thing yeah she's gonna do her thing and she's gonna make it awesome you know? so the the character that I was least excited for from the get-go was Quicksilver and it was kind of weird because he was the most fantastic freaking character of the damn I, movie being challenged by walking at a normal pace mm -hmm. and you know he's dying on the inside and it's i feel like he's it, it's really interesting he was holding that tray you know like mm -hmm. it, it was it was nerve-wracking for me because i'm just like holy crap i know that's quicksilver and i don't know i'm a huge fan of x-men i read most of the comics i saw the cartoons all of most oh, the of the cartoon is fantastic um Evolution, all like I Quicksilver mm. is portrayed in almost all of those, and you see how he is and how it's portrayed in the comics. It's this is a different version, obviously, but it's awesome, you know. Yeah, it, it, he's fucking fantastic, and also there's like scenes where James McAvoy goes and talks to Patrick Stewart. Like those scenes are just like so subtle, subtly epic, I guess. Subtly, is what yeah, that's he, a good. Point, you know, yeah. like you never see somebody talking to his own psyche from the future or from the past. And the way they pulled that off is freaking phenomenal. That was really cool, yeah. Um, so, along with that movie, my favorite movie of the summer is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And Jesus fucking Christ, what a good movie that yeah. was. I couldn't believe it. Um, first of all, beginning and end shot symmetry. I love that in film. It's, it blew my mind. We also have uh, Andy Serkis' best performance of Caesar so far. Which is saying something because his last performance of Caesar was amazing. Um, <laughs> the guy that did Kobo, I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he he fucking owned it too. That movie was perfect in in all of the senses I can mm -hmm. ever. Like I was not excited to go see this movie. Uh, Planet of the Apes, Rise of the Planet of the Apes was good. I really liked it, you know, whatever. But I was not like I went to the movie thinking, you know, I'm gonna enjoy it. But I was floored by it because it was just so amazing. Mm -hmm. They speak through they don't even speak to each other they in the beginning use sign language they use sign language and they just like point and then they know it's it's, it's so good and you think about it and it's like wow that's how it's, they it's would amazing. do it you know what i mean like that's so accurate mm -hmm. and i love that it became an ape centric movie the only complaint about this movie and this goes with rise of the planet apes it's a huge fucking spoiler to the original planet Apes. okay so now we're going to go into our best performances of the summer um yeah. I'm going to start with my male, favorite male actor performance. And uh, I'm going with Andy Serkis, Dawn of the Planet Apes. The stuff that he has to do physically and emotionally and thought process wise to prepare for every role he does, 
though it be all CGI, is insane to me. Yeah, it's a really great performance. I would say it too, but because of that reason too, because he's not on the screen, like, himself, I would say that Brian Cranston from Godzilla would be mine. Um, I don't blame you. It's amazing. He's awesome in the first... Well, anyways, <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you, but he's yeah, awesome. He's awesome throughout the movie. He is... Um, yep. yep. My be best uh, actress in a performance of the summer would be Shane Woolley, right? Is that what you're saying? Shalene. Shalene. Shalene Woolley. She was in uh, Fault of Our Stars. Um, she's the best thing about the movie. Her performance is heartbreaking, sorrowful. Uh, I mean, uh, I haven't thing. seen it. I don't know. It's a great I would movie say, though, that I, I heard she did really well. For my favorite female performance, I would have to say um, Jennifer Lawrence as Mystique in X-Men Days of Future Past. Although she was not the lead actress in that movie, she was part of the storyline. And I, like what we were talking about earlier is that she was so amazing as Mystique. And I, for one, too, there's a scene where she's talking to a, uh, what, South Korea? Or North oh, Korea? yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I know one, of, one of them. I don't know. One of the North Korean It's guys. been a while for a while since I was in the movie. But she's, you know, she's talking to him and she's Mystique. And she's Raven at first and then she like, I don't know, it's, it's just a great to show how Mystique has flaws too. Oh, yeah. 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 So, but yeah, those were our two uh, from each, you know, male, yep. female. Um, so we'll see you guys next time. Um, remember to subscribe, Facebook us, you know, Twitter us. Uh, we'll try to also. This is going to be a clickable. I'm holding it in my hand right now. It's heavy. It's heavy. I'm gonna put it down now. Yeah, we kind of need you to lift it with your finger so it will be lighter on us. Or just click it. Just or click just click it. it. Yeah. And then the screen will go away. Yeah, it's amazing. All right. Anyways.